A year from now, I could be hosting this show from a robotic iPad. If you watch a lot of TV like I do, you've probably seen Verizon's ad for their VGO telepresence robot. You know, that robot that forces sick kids to attend class instead of watching The Price is Right. Well, yesterday I went to Macworld Expo to talk to Jay Liu of Double Robotics Incorporated about their own iPad-based telepresence robot, which if they have their way, could be replacing all of us at our boring 9 to 5 desk jobs. Check it out. All right, now this product is actually legitimately cool. It's not an iPhone case or an iPad case or, or any other sort of case. It's an actual robot. Can you tell me about it? Yes, this is our iPad-based telepresence robot, so it works anywhere in the world uh, as long as it's got decent Wi-Fi. So, for instance, I could have this robot could be roaming the floor of a, a manufacturing manufacturing plant in China, and I can walk over to somebody's back and ask them to work faster. Wow! If Steve Jobs could see this now, <laughs> that's fun. Yeah. So, um, what my favorite use case is? So, I have this at the at the office, and then from home, I could be in bed, and I can walk this over to my coworker's desk and ask him why he's not responding to my email. Is this like a remote control car? You can make it go forwards and backwards. You can turn left and right, and uh, more importantly, you can also adjust the uh, the height. And the reason why the height is important, I'm going to go lower here. The reason why the height adjustment is important is so that it can speak to someone at eye level even if they're uh, sitting down on a chair. Yeah, so maintain the eye contact and it goes up to about, it goes from about five feet to about three feet. Looks like it's getting a little excited. Look at it. Look at it go. Right. Look at it extend. Oh man. That's right. Yeah. Play some, play some nice bounce. I, I have to apologize to the viewers at home because we couldn't get Wi-Fi here to work. That's why it's just a picture of me. But imagine like a Skype video chat or a, or a, a FaceTime call. I actually, I actually love that it is a still photo here as the demo because it's more menacing going up and down. Just you, you staring at me, smiling, just coming, creeping up behind me. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is great. So how fast can this actually roll around then? Yeah, so it goes about walking speed. That's like the top speed. So you can really like kind of walk, walk behind someone going, hey, 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 right. hey, hey. Right, exactly. Now, are these actually in use in, in the real world? Um, not yet. Uh, so we so we launched a company last August, and uh, there's just a seven of us, so we're actually really small. But before we launched a company, we actually gave about 10 of these to various companies for them to try it out to work, so that we could find, find out what the problem areas were. And we got all that feedback, and so we're actually fixing all those problems. So, we, uh, so right now, we're in the midst of trying to scale up the production of the production-grade unit, so it's all polished, and we worked out all the problems. And so our first customer will get in about a month month-ish or so. How much does one of these run a customer? Yeah, so um, this retails for 2500 but we're giving people a $500 discount for a pre-order. So it's actually $2,000 right now for the pre-order. All right. We, we're, we're trying to make it better and cheaper so that people can actually afford to use this as, at home. We're not trying to build something for a big company's budget. So, so basically what you're saying is in a couple of years, yeah. The whole Macworld Expo will just be a bunch of these roaming the floor and everyone will just be at home going, all right, I'm not going to get the flu this year. <laughs> it's possible. It is possible. The future. That's right. We, we, um, so remember when Bill Gates said that, um, oh my God, I can't believe he brought up Bill Gates name at Macworld. Uh, all right. This guy. No. Get a load of this guy. No, well, no. So he had a great vision. His vision was that, you know. A, oh, he had a great vision. A, a computer on every desk at home. And our vision is to have one of these in every home. If that, you know, if we could be so lucky to get there. But that's, that's like a really thin Rosie the Robot. Rosie the Robot. That's, yeah, but, but that's why we, we really want to make this cheap and, you know, um, and accessible and, and good. So normal people can actually afford it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the day where my parents are just rolling around my house all day on Skype going, are you touching yourself? What are you doing? Clean your room. What are you doing? I know, it's like I'm 14 all over again. And if you'd like to know more or pre-order one for yourself, head on over to DoubleRobotics.com. And hey, while you're here, why don't you let me know what you would do with your own telepresence robot in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button too. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying thanks, Double Robotics. Now I'll really have to host this show live on weekends instead of pre-taping it. Spoilers, we take the show ahead of time on weekends.